Well, 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 guys. Looks like we're back at it again. Back to the scale. Um, where's the weigh-in inspector? Okay, the weigh-in inspector isn't aware that we're starting up again. But, uh, that's okay. Look, I'm gonna get this thing started off with the big weigh-in. This, I am dreading this right now. Um, let's just do this. I, I, I... I was down to 157 pounds when I when I originally uh, you know did the first hundred days of the year with keto and uh, I stopped I stopped the diet and basically binged on eating for a couple months straight um, wasn't a good thing so with that said look I went I was I was down to 157 pounds. And as of today, one hundred and eighty. Are you kidding me? Oh my! Oh my! Oh my God! That's ridiculous. A hundred and eighty point three. I'm in shock. I'm in shock. I'm in shock. All right, guys, we're going to get this thing started off, and let me tell you right now, this this first food of the keto days is I'm going to ease myself in. Um, I'm actually drinking a protein shake to start today off because I'm actually up really early, and I'm going to the hospital today, so I'm drinking a protein shake, and look at this, some very, very kind... Mormon missionaries decided to deliver banana bread, and uh, they decided to stop by and just give me some banana bread. They didn't. They didn't want to talk about. They didn't talk about anything else. They didn't talk about the Book of Mormon. They just decided to stop by the night before I'm beginning keto and give me some banana bread. So you know what? I am gonna go ahead and eat it. Because and enjoy it because uh, well I'm still in shock over 180 pounds I gained 23 pounds what's another pound gonna hurt right now right lol well 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 guys look who's back at it bro you missed the way in bro bro why are you licking plastic huh Hey, why are you licking plastic? You want to lick some butter? Here, want to li lick this? <laughs> He's like, yeah. <laughs> He'll give it a go. He'll give it a go. Hey, butter's keto. Okay, he's out. He's like, ah, uh, bro. Butter? Nah. Come on now. Mr. Slash. Do you need some cat food? Do you need me to actually give you some real cat food? Hmm? Do you want me to go put that in your bowl? Alright, let's do it. Slash also... Hey, there's you still got some from before, bro. All he likes to do is lick the sauce. So he needs some fresh sauce. All right, bro. Lickety doo dah, lickety a, lick that cat food all away. Get it? Good, huh? Slash is getting it. All right, guys. So I'm on the bus right now, headed to the university hospital. Um, check this out. They got, they still got the seats, like, separated so that people won't sit together, although people are still doing it a lot. Um, I don't know if it helps, but it's kind of weird. <laughs> they kind of tore up. Yeah, they got these so that people don't, uh, sit too close. 
if you see a white bag with a red piece of paper on it, I guess that means don't sit there. Interesting. All right guys, just got out of the uh, hospital and uh, things went okay. They uh, decided to go ahead and do the surgery at some future point. And uh, yeah, the good news is that I will be asleep when they do the surgery. So that's gonna be nice. I, I've been so stressed out, worried that, cause last time they told me we were gonna do it before that I'd be awake and I got scared canceled it so now this time I'm gonna be asleep and it's gonna be quick and painless and uh, yeah so now I'm just waiting for the date to find out when I go in and actually get it done so that was that was that for today we'll see how it goes oh yeah guess what it's time it's been a while and even though I'm easing my way back into keto I'm gonna I am gonna have bulletproof coffee today so uh, I just got back from the uh, university and uh, yeah I'm gonna have some bulletproof coffee to uh, basically hold my hunger over and as many of you know bulletproof coffee means butter up in your coffee and we do that for a couple reasons one because when you are on the keto diet you add fat because you you begin to burn fat and fats what gives you energy and two it keeps you satisfied for longer so the butter actually makes it so that you don't have as much hunger cravings and so that you actually require less to eat and once you get used to it, it actually tastes yummy. So, bulletproof coffee. Easy my way into keto. Let's get her done. Oh yeah, so one of my favorite things about keto is bacon is allowed. You can eat so much bacon that you have a bacon gasm. So I present to you bacon ASMR. Try not to have a bacon gasm. Well, there it is, guys. Today is the actual, you know, I'm easing into keto. Because as you can see, I ate some banana bread today. But I uh, had to eat that, and it was worth it. But uh, here we go, bacon and eggs. Eggs with scrambled eggs with cheese. And you know I'm going to put some ketchup on it. Oh, all right. Well, I'm going to after I fix it. But this is ketchup with no sugar. And yeah, that's key to uh, keeping it pure keto. You don't want sugar up in your ketchup. So, bone, appetizzle, bacon, and eggs with cheese.
Well, 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 look who's decided to join us at the dinner table. We got Nerdette, we got Slash, and we got Nerd. Nerd's food. How you doing, Slash? Okay. He's good, he's good. He's just, he's just part of the fam, guys. That's what's up. Thanks for joining us, Slash. Slash, what you doing over there, bro? <laughs> He's got his own chair now. All right, bro. Just keep on chilling. All right, guys. So I'm going to make some broccoli cauliflower mash. I'm going to pop this up in the microwave and get it almost basically thawed out. And then I'm going to cook it with some garlic and butter. And that's it. It's going to be bomb. So, got these chicken wings. This is probably going to be more than enough for me and Nerdette to eat in one sitting. So I'm going to I'm going to bake these bad boys and they should be uh they should be nice and crispy and yummy and nerdy and uh yeah, I'm gonna this this should probably be enough for two meals. So uh we'll we'll see how much we can eat. It's all keto. Alright guys, so I'm gonna make some broccoli cauliflower mash. Got some butter, cause butter is bomb. And I'm gonna take some uh I got some garlic. Gonna get it up in that butter. This is going to make some really nice flavor for the broccoli cauliflower mash. And so I've heated this up, cooked it a little bit in the bag in the microwave. And uh, so now it's nice and, or it's, it's pretty soft. It's not completely cooked. But I like to, to use the microwave to get it, you know, get it started. Let's see how it is. Yeah. It's gonna need it's gonna need some cooking a little bit, so I'm gonna get it started with some mashing. Put the lid on it and uh, let that get really moist and soft. All right, so it's getting nice and moist. Hashtag moist, and I'm gonna put some more butter up in there. And I'm going to just go ahead and we got some eggs, some old, the rest of this sour cream. I'm just going to put it up in there just to use it up and make it, I don't know. I like to use everything in our house um, rather than let it go to waste. And uh, just give it a little extra creaminess. I'm gonna I'm gonna slap some some Johnny salt up in this bad boy. And if guys, if you don't have Johnny salt, God bless my mom. She sends it to me from America. This goes on everything. It's absolutely bomb. So damn good. More butter. More butter. Always hey. That's one thing about keto. You can always have more butter. That's, the, that's one of the nicest things. Because your body eventually uses the fat for energy. And it burns. So, plus, the good, you know, butter and, and fat is actually the flavor in all food. So I'm going to let that cook a little bit longer and then mash it one more time and it's going to be perfect. Read them and weep, broskies. Broccoli cauliflower mash with butter and garlic and chicken whizzles. Oh, what you say, bro? <laughs> Slash is like dinner time? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Slash joins us for every meal, but yeah, 
chicken whizzles, broccoli cauliflower mash, and uh, we're going to watch some Hannibal. So, bone appetizzle. As we wrap up this awesome vlog, Slash has decided to go to sleep. So, while you guys are smashing that like button, sharing this with your friends, telling them about Nerds Nerdy Keto Vlog, I hope you all have a wonderful day. And Slash is going to sleep away, sleep away, sleep away. Nerd of the North and Slash. Peace out.